morning that began like any other turned tragic today when an employee opened fire on his supervisor and fellow co-workers. Students, parents, teachers are asking why today after a bloody rampage plunged this campus into tragedy. Details are just coming in, but we're being told that a heavily armed gunman opened fire this evening at the mall food court behind me. There's no official word on any casualties yet, but one eyewitness reported seeing at least six people shot. Active shooter, a gunman or gunman killing or attempting to kill people in a confined populated area. You gotta get some sleep. You're looking like a vampire. <sighs> you sleep. You ain't got no babies at home keeping you up. What the hell? Ah, oh, Sam again. We've tried. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to let you go. Active shooter killings are a tragic, unpredictable reality, and one that's becoming more common. Since 2006, the U.S. has averaged an active shooter event with four or more deaths every 2.9 months. Even though the number of active shooter events has been increasing, your odds of being involved in one are still very slim. But just like fire drills and earthquake preparedness, making a plan in advance can make all the difference. If you do find yourself in the middle of a senseless attack, the why doesn't matter. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, man, something's happening. What matters is surviving. On average, 20 mass shootings take place in the U.S. every year. Killers usually choose their victims at random. They look for easy targets. So the harder you are to see or to hit, the safer you are. When an attack starts, if you can find a way out of the location, do so. Get out. If you stay calm and think clearly, even in the middle of a life and death event, you improve your chances of making it out. Visualize your movements in advance. What are we gonna do? Look at me, look at me. I can get us out. Stay behind me, stay now. Use cover, something that will stop a bullet, and concealment, something that at least keeps you out of sight. Attention, South LA units, code three response needed regarding a 245 DSV 417. So be at the town center shopping mall, suspects wearing a face mask, possible body armor. Use any available means to get out, including emergency exits or windows. Most restaurants and retail locations will also have exits in the back through kitchens or stock rooms. Even in the best cases, police are minutes, not seconds, away. You must take action to protect yourself. Okay, everybody stay calm. It's probably just a drill. If you can help others without putting yourself in unnecessary danger, it's be okay. do so. It's be okay. what, what's your name? Uh, Lori. Lori? It's gonna be okay. If you can't move safely to an exit, get to a room or a confined area you can lock down. Then secure the location. Secure your location. Oh my god! There's somebody shooting! Everybody stay calm! Remember how we train! Everybody get in this corner! Away from the windows! Get the emergency bag from my desk! Help her! Drywall won't stop a bullet, but there are steps to take to stay safe. Lock or barricade the doors, turn off the lights, move away from any windows, 
and silence your cell phone. The other door doesn't lock, move desks or anything, just block it. A modern emergency bag can include a first aid kit, gloves, emergency plans for the building, and casualty cards to alert first responders to any wounded victims. Most active shooter situations are over in 10 to 15 minutes. Attention, Lakewood units, code three is needed. Two forty-five GSV four seventeen. It's going to be at Alexandria College. Multiple victims down. Law enforcement's first responsibility when entering an active shooter situation is to stop the suspect, not to render aid to the victims. Medical teams will enter the scene as soon as the suspect is no longer a threat or is confirmed in another location. Silence any cell phones and remain quiet. Do not alert the shooter to your presence. Sheriff's Department, is there anyone inside? Red card. Just hang tight. We'll be back to get you. Defend yourself. If you cannot escape the location and you can't shelter in place, you may have to defend yourself as a last resort. Almost anything can be turned into an improvised weapon. Look for something that can disrupt the shooter's ability to see, breathe, or control their weapon. When law enforcement arrives, they are going to be in a heightened state of readiness and awareness, looking for any aggressive movements. So keep your hands visible and follow any commands you are given. Especially in developing situations, engaging law enforcement, running toward them, reaching for them, even to thank them, could put people at risk. Surviving an active shooter. For more information. Thank you. Seriously. Visit activeshooter.lasd.org.